Hey, hey, what's going on, YouTube land? This is Warrior Man here, aka J Emo Thomas Kewis. I got my my handle, my Twitter handle, in the in the description. Shoot me a follow. Um, I haven't done a video on this account in a long time. I'll uh, post a link to the to the account that I have been posting videos from. But they have, none of them are political or anything like that. It's music and psychology. It's mostly what I've been focusing on. Anyways, I felt compelled to do a video on uh, on something that's been going on that's been really pissing me the fuck off. So I've I've told I've I've spoke I've been seen on Twitter. I have my coffee and my cigarette ready to roll. Let's get started. Aaron Cruz is going to be the focal point of my uh, rant today, and I wanted to talk a couple, talk about a couple points about about this individual. For those of you who don't know, she is the. Uh, she is a California senatorial candidate uh, running up against Feinstein, um, so she has yet to go through the primary yet, so there's no telling what's going to happen there. Anyways, let's uh, talk about the bullet points, and not necessarily in any other order, shall we? The first thing I wanted to talk about is there was been a... Uh, there's been a stink about some supposed uh, resistor, a resistor who was a veteran, whom a company which Aaron Cruz associated with pushed a foreclosure on him. And the campaign is uh, dismissing this as fake news. Now, I'm going to be fair and objective in saying that there are more ver there are other there could have been other variables behind this foreclosure, assuming it's true. Like questions would have to be asked. Did you pay the did, 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 did the individual pay the mortgage? If not, then the company was perfectly justified in in ta in, in uh, foreclosing on the house. That's how capitalism works. And you know you may not agree with it, whether you agree with it or not. That's just how it is. Two. Ignoring her supporters. And as well as her boyfriend. Uh, but this friend of mine drove three hours to attend a rally that she was having because she was at the time she was in support of her and and her um, and she posted stuff on Twitter about you know campaigning for her endorsing her we even got a couple of us on board so what does Aaron Cruz do in exchange for her uh, in exchange for this individual promoting her, she ignores her. And, well, it's like, that's, that's pretty fucked up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyways, she eventually did retweet this individual's tweets, but not until after she had said something about it. That's, it took her saying something. This individual, especially considering that this friend met her in person and even engaged in small talk with her. So, you got a face, you got the name, you got the handle, and I'm assuming you followed her at one point. So you have no excuse for that. Number three, she's anti-Twitter boycott. Now, before I go any further in this, let me explain it to you about the Twitter boycott. She's the Twitter boycott is a response to the unfair practices of Twitter. I mean, I was the latest uh, latest one to be a to fall victim to that. One of them, anyways. Um, of the unfair practices of censorship and conservatives. 
and this is supposed to happen uh, this coming weekend, I believe, Memorial Day weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Just Saturday and Sunday, all conservatives are, have been urged to, to turn off their, to log out of their Twitter accounts and not, and not use them until the, until the following Monday. Aaron Cruz has a problem with this. Why? Because it's the weekend before the primary election in California. First of all, I'm going to tell you something your minions probably never fucking told you. Motherfucker, not everything is about you. There, I said it. Second of all, if you were really a conservative, you would be all on board for this. And not only that, but you would be encouraging your supporters to do the same thing. How narcissistic can you fucking be? You sound like a fucking feminist. Number four. Slander of another Twitter user who, question, who called some of her practices into question. First of all, the foreclosure. She questioned, this individual questioned that. The, the uh, link is the, the workers for Trump, I believe, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. She went, this individual questioned what the deal was with the, uh, with this foreclosure, and she also questioned the legitimacy of her grassroots movement finding out that this woman had uh, taken money from a super PAC and uh, it, it's and the thing is you're not and for, rather than explaining herself to the to the potential voter she posts a huge, long-winded tweet about how this person's not a real conservative and he needs to be blocked and blah, blah, blah. All because he fucking questioned her. Because he asked questions. I saw the whole thread and I looked through it. And all he did was ask questions and he was respectful and civil about it. And she went on and encouraged her followers to block this individual. How fucking babyish can you be? This is this is straight out of the liberal Democrat feminist playbook. How the fuck are you to expect me to believe that you're a real conservative when you're when you're having your baby fits and making everything about you? You're a narcissistic sociopath piece of trash. And you will be one of those feminists on YouTube and Twitter at 50 years old crying that no man wants you. I promise you. That is all.